So let's use addition and subtraction in simplifying our polynomial. So for the first example, we're going to add polynomials. And adding polynomials is similar to combining like terms. So you have two groups of polynomial. The first one is 2x plus 3y plus 7. And the second group is 3x minus y minus 5. And when you add two sets of polynomials, all you have to do is to add the same variables or like terms together. And you will be able to simplify your two sets of polynomials. So you have 2x and 3y. I mean 2x and 3x. I have 3y minus y and I have 7 minus 7. So by combining like terms, 2 plus 3 is 5x. 3y minus y will give me positive 2y and 7 minus 5 will give me positive 2. So when I combine number 1 by addition, it's simply 5x plus 2y plus 2. Now, when we are subtracting, it is pretty similar to um, adding a polynomials, but we need to add one more step. And the reason why I want to add one more step is to avoid confusion. There are several ways on how to subtract polynomials. Some of them don't bother changing the negative sign in their polynomial, but what I'm going to show you is organizing my polynomial so that I will end up adding them. And here's how I will subtract my polynomials for 5x minus 3y plus 5 minus 2x plus 5y minus 5. Now whenever you subtract polynomials, all you have to do is to switch all the signs of your second group of polynomial. So since you are subtracting, I'm going to switch it to addition and then I will switch all my signs inside the parentheses into negative 2x minus 5y and positive 5. And the reasoning behind this changing or changes is that I can distribute the negative sign to my second parentheses. So if I distribute it, negative becomes, or negative times positive is negative, negative times positive is negative, and negative times negative is positive. And when I did that, I'm going to add the second step in the process. And that's why I'm changing the signs of my second parentheses. So I can just simply add my polynomial polynomials by combining like terms. So I have 5x and negative 2x, negative 3y and negative 5y, and 5 and positive 5. So notice that I don't even need to look at their signs because I'm just grouping them just like what they did in example number 1. So 5x minus 2x is 3x, negative 3y minus 5y is negative 8y, and 5 plus 5 will give me 10. So the difference between these two polynomials will be 3x minus 8y plus 10. Now, in multiplication of polynomials, there are different ways on how you multiply them depending on how the problem is set up. In my example, for number one and number two, I am multiplying a monomial by a binomial. And in this case, when you are multiplying a monomial to a binomial or certain number of polynomials, you will use the distributive property. And that's what I'm going to do. So I have 5 times 2x. I will distribute 5 to 2x. That's why I have 5 times 2x. And I will distribute 5 to 3y. That's why I have 5 times 3y. And simplifying my polynomial, I'll have 10x plus 15y. So that's how you multiply a monomial with a binomial. And let's do it with the second example. Now, in the second example, my monomial has an exponent. So you need to use the law of exponents when you're multiplying this example. So if I distribute 2x squared to 3x to the fifth, it's just 2x squared times 3x to the fifth, and 2x squared to 7, which gives me 2x squared times 7. By the laws of exponents, since I'm multiplying variables, I am going to add the exponent and multiply the coefficient. So 2 times 3 is 6, and 2 plus 5 is 7. So my first term is 6x to the 7th. And 2x squared times 7, I can multiply my coefficient with my constant because both of them are real number. So 2 times 7 is 14, and x squared is just x squared because there's nothing to multiply it with the constant. So my product for number 2 is 6x to the 7th plus 14x squared. Now, for this example, I have a binomial multiplied to another binomial. 
Now, we're also using the distrib distributive property for this example, but this time it's going to be some series of steps. So we have more steps here because we have more terms multiplied to another polynomial with two terms. So that's why we're using a different type of the distrib distributive property. So let's distribute the first factor, which is 2 plus 3x, to the second factor, which is 5 minus 2x, both of which are binomials. So 2 multiplied to 5 is 10. Three, um, 2 multiplied to negative 2x is negative 4x. 3x multiplied to 5 will give us 15x. And 3x multiplied to negative 2x is negative 6x squared. So on our second line, we can combine like terms. And since these two terms right here in the middle are like terms, we can add them up. So negative 4x plus 15x will give us 11x, and we'll just copy 10 and negative 6x squared. We can no longer simplify this um, equation because all of them are different. All of them have different exponents. So all we can do right now is to simplify our answer into standard form. And when I say standard form, the highest exponent always has to be at the first term or at the very beginning of your answer. And the constant or a number without any variable and exponent will be right here at the end. So our final answer in standard form should be negative 6x squared plus 11x plus 10.